pretty mediocre hand, but it's not a mulligan. I've yet to get a hand that I'm like, sweet. Dark Thicket Wolf into 3-drop into 4-drop. Although I ha well, I did, but it didn't have a forest in it. Selfless Cathar. He's comboing out quite nicely. Or not comboing out, curving out. Things are about to get a little unruly here. Grab a pitchfork and go to town. Yup. Don't care if you have a trick. I want your guy to die. Okay. Congratulations. Forest, woohoo! This guy's not gonna say a word. He's just gonna hang out. Mm hmm. Ooh. Mentor of the Meek, eh? I do enjoy that. Hmm. Do I want to attack Voice of Spirit into Voice of Spirit? I think not. Huh. Eh. I don't think so, actually. Interesting. Guess you really want to get in there, huh? No, why not attack you? So you traded four damage for four damage and a half a card. Hmm, interesting. Now comes the angel, maybe. Yeah, it's angel time. Yep, it's good to have a card that I can't beat. Alright, what can I do here? If he gets one more mana, he can make another one. This fucking card is so stupid. As long as you control a guy that most of your car the cards in your color are that creature type, it's hexproof and indestructible. Like, Jesus, come on. Little kids already buy this set enough. I must have some rares. Yeah, you have two. Uh, what a stupid thing to say. <laughs> it's just funny, because it's dumb. Um, you must have some rares. Interesting. No, it's not that you have the rares. I just think this is a stupid card. Give it indestructible or hexproof. Don't give it both. You're a douchebag.
One thing it does not have is vigilance. All right, let's flip the the sentry. That's my plan right now. Flip the Robin sentry. Nature of the meek, you've outlived your usefulness. I mean, if I... Uh, I was going to say, if I play my cards right, I can get into a position where this is a 6-6 six, six and doesn't die to that. But... I mean, you can make another one. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. Do that thing where you counter it. And make me discard travel preparations like you did in the first game. Ha, <laughs> he is going to. Oh, no, he's going to tap my guys. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, I need to, right? Wait, does it change my clock? But then if he draws another land, he can copy the angel. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I mean, I don't think I can win this game anyway. It's hexproof and indestructible. Got an idea for a card. Let's take the keywords that people hate the most and put it on a 5 3 flyer for 5. Yeah, alright. Butchers? Wow. Sad thing is he can just bounce it. Man, if I had this card right now, not like I would have the man man had to cast it, but that would have been a beating. That would have been a sweet beating, because I could pump with the Lunark and then travel prep, make this guy too big to be killed by that. Yep, you can cackling counterpart, your friggin' angel, which you're doing as... Oh, no, wait, you're gonna bounce. I'm shocked. Interesting. <laughs> wow, this all... It all depends on how he wants to block. Do I do the bill village bell ringer thing? So I can double travel prep? I need to play double... Ah, uh, man, I needed a land. I need one more land. Single travel prep. But that doesn't do as much as village bell ringer does. I mean, back's against the wall. Gotta hope that he goes, that he makes some subpar blocks. This guy's gonna attack too, I think. Let's see. So I, I gain six no matter what. If he blocks, oh, if he blocks there and tries to pump it, oh, that would be perfect. 
do I attack? So do I attack with this guy? If I attack with this guy, then he might trade. I don't want him to trade. I want him to block here and try to use the Cathar. Uh, give it a shot. Oh, please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Interesting. Really? Oh, because I don't gain life. Gotcha. God damn it, I was hoping he blocked there and tried to kill it with first strike. You should have. Did you draw your crappy counter spell? Let's find out. I suppose the answer is no to that one. Block there. Block there. Block there because I don't want to die. Right. Yeah, he could have the plus two, plus two, and uh, the other thing. Plus two, plus two lifelink card. Don't really want him to do that. Let's put a counter on that. Looks like I rung your village bell. Doomed Traveler. I think I can just kill you? Double travel preparations. And then equip the bell ringer. Yeah. Wow, what a comeback. Sick village bell ringer rip. Wow, I can't believe I beat this card <laughs> with no way to kill it or its humans. The top deck Butcher's Cleaver and the top deck Village Bell Ringer, not gonna lie, those were unreal. This is still a stupid card, but sick comeback, wow. Alright, well, that was one of the better games, or better drafts, you know. I drafted a sweet deck, and I never really got the explosive start I was looking for, but I made up with that with some very timely draws, and uh, it's good lines of play, I think. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Later.